So the shell of electrons. Uh, so the electron only move on the orbits, uh, or, 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 or we call the shell, okay? Yeah, with certain energy levels. Uh, so we call the shells of it, shells of electrons, okay? And then uh, this every shell uh, it has certain energy, okay? Certain energy levels. For example, that uh, the first shell the energy is two joule, and the second shell the energy is five joule, okay? This just example, okay? It's not really the the energy is two joule and five joule. Just give you the examples on here. Yeah? Okay, actually the energy level is not that high okay 2 joule and 5 joule is considered very very high already so just let you know that every shell it has uh, certain energy levels and then some um, the further the shell from the nucleus uh, the higher the energy levels so this one closer to the shell the energy is 2 joule this one further the energy is 5 joule the further the shell from the nucleus the higher the energy uh, so the electrons, when the electrons move inside or move around these uh, atoms, uh, okay, it can only move with two joule energy or five joule. Two joule or five joule. It cannot move with any other energy. Eh? So all the electrons in in these atoms can only occupy shell with two energy level. So all other energy like one joule, three joule, four joule, two point five joule, six joule is not impossible eh, for the electrons. The electron can only move with two joule, five joule. Eh. All are, all any other other energy levels are in, impossible for the electrons. Eh. So only two joule and five joules are possible for the electrons to move. So it's impossible for you to find any electrons eh, in this atom with energy other than two joule or five joule. It must be two joule or five joule only. And uh, that is called the energy levels or the shell. That's, that's what you need to know about the shells of the electrons. Eh?